In the process of evolution, many species of animals disappeared without a trace for various reasons, for example, climate change, the habitat of natural enemies expanding, exterminating the population of these same species, also with the development of human civilization, the discovery of new islands and continents, the natural balance was disrupted, the islands together with man bacteria and animals that had not previously been there entered, and many other reasons could have caused the extinction of a species. In this video, we'll look at animals that for a long time did not catch anyone's eye and were considered completely extinct, but by some miracle some individuals managed to survive and unexpectedly make themselves known. Now on Earth there are practically no living organisms that, like the lobe-finned fish coelacanth, have not changed in their structure and behavior over the millions of years of their existence. Stone prints indicate that they lived 400 million years ago, that is, before the appearance of dinosaurs. Lobe-finned fish gave rise to amphibians and were the first vertebrates to reach land, and subsequently died out as an intermediate link. But it turned out that the scientists were wrong, and the species survived into the 20th century unchanged. Coelacanth is the only representative of the lobe-finned fish order that has survived to this day. The discovery of coelacanth was the largest zoological discovery of the 20th century. In December 1938, in the Indian Ocean, fishermen caught a previously unseen large fish with quite aggressive behavior. This bala fish was delivered to the Museum of the City of East London, where its researcher made a stuffed animal of it, because this fish could not be preserved alive before the scientists arrived. Professor John Smith, who studied the stuffed fish and the remains of the fish, realized that it belonged to the lobe-finned fish, which were considered extinct. He gave it the generic name coelacanth in honor of the museum worker who preserved it for science. The habitat of this fish has been established for years, it has been established that it lives in the waters of the three Comoros Islands, as well as off the coast of southern Mozambique and the southwestern part of Madagascar. In 1998, a population of coelacanth was also discovered off the coast of Indonesia. Now two types of coelacanth have been discovered, Indonesian and Comorian. The Comorian population numbers 200, and there is no data on the exact number of Indonesian coelacanth, but there are suggestions that their numbers are much larger. These populations are under control and fishing of this fish is strictly prohibited. Although coelacanth meat is not edible, there are those who want to receive a valuable specimen for a private home collection. Therefore, the authorities, together with scientists, have to carry out explanatory work with local residents and fishermen in order to learn about the lifestyle behavior characteristics and population size of these fish german scientists regularly conduct submersible descents to a depth of about 200 m to conduct a census of all living fish this makes it possible to monitor the state of the comorian population and learn new data about the behavioral reactions of these fish these observations gave the following results Coelacanth are nocturnal predatory animals, sluggish and incurious creatures. They live and hunt in groups. Coelacanth are slow-moving fish that control their heavy bodies quite well. They can swim backwards, belly up, stand on their heads, or lie belly down on the bottom. The weight of these fish is up to 95 kilograms, and the body length is up to 180 centimeters. Chinese River Dolphin Baiji. It was discovered in 1918 in the freshwater Lake Dongting, in Hunan Province. Scientists have found out a long time ago, 20 million years ago, that dolphins first entered the Yangtze River from the Pacific Ocean. Baiji originated from them. In traditional Chinese culture, these animals were revered as sacred, but in the 20th century, everything has changed. Economic and political changes in China have led to the extinction of a unique species. Until recently, there were four species of exclusively freshwater dolphins and Baiji was one of them. The Chinese river dolphin disappeared very quickly, in 1950, approximately 6,000 individuals lived in the waters of the Yangtze, and after 20 years there were already several hundred of them left. It is not surprising that the Baiji came under strong human pressure, since a tenth of the world's population lives in this region of the planet. And the reason for the population decline was a terrible famine in China, and then dolphins were hunted for meat. The subsequent economic boom also did not bring anything good for river dolphins. 
The impact on the river and its inhabitants then became colossal, industrial and noise pollution, shipping, and dam construction. Active fishing also had an impact. Aquatic mammals became entangled in nets and died from poachers. As a result, in 2006, a specially organized expedition did not find a single Chinese river dolphin in the Yangtze River. The dam and power plant called the Three Gorges, the construction of which began at the end of the 20th century, finally put an end to the existence of dolphins. This dam is one of the world's largest hydroelectric power plants, a symbol of the power of the Chinese economy. The significance of this building for the country is enormous. However, for the animal world of the river, the latest construction project of the century was a terrible blow. Not only has the temperature and hydrology of the Yangtze changed, but the usual habitats for many species have also disappeared. But in August 2007, a real miracle happened. A resident of China filmed a large white animal swimming in the Yangtze River. This video gave hope that the few remaining dolphins were still able to adapt to the new conditions. The Haitian or paradoxical slit tooth is currently found only in certain forested areas of the island of Haiti. This is why it is called the Haitian slit tooth. This mammal lived on our planet back in the time of dinosaurs and until recently. The last time several specimens were seen was in the middle of the last century, after which none of the researchers could find this animal, and the species was considered completely extinct. In January 2009, the media reported that wildlife researchers had finally discovered a slit tooth in Haiti. Outwardly, it looks like a cross between a shrew and an anteater and, like them, feeds on insects and other small animals. The Haitian slit tooth leads a secretive lifestyle. During the day, they hide under dead wood, in the hollows of fallen trunks, among the root systems of large trees and other secluded places. And they go out to feed only after sunset with the onset of darkness. That is why they could not be discovered earlier. The rarity of the species is also due to the characteristics of reproduction. It is believed that the female usually gives birth to only one calf. Previously, before the massive human settlement of the slit-tooth habitats, they had almost no natural enemies. Currently, they are being exterminated by domestic cats and dogs that have been introduced everywhere and become wild, as well as Indian mongooses, which have greatly proliferated after their importation and release on the islands. Because of these predators, the snap-tooth, which is endemic to the islands of Cuba and Haiti, appears to be doomed to extinction. Snaptooths, along with the platypus and some shrews, are one of the few species of venomous mammals. Interestingly, gaptooths are not immune to their own poison and therefore can die even from light bites received during fights with their relatives. The bites of this poisonous animal are also dangerous to humans. The Arakan forest tortoise was also considered completely extinct until recently. Its dimensions are quite modest, the length of the shell rarely exceeds 25 centimeters. Historically, these land reptiles lived in the province of Arakan. Turtles have long been mercilessly exterminated by the inhabitants of Myanmar, who consumed the animals as food and made medicines from them. The population was almost completely destroyed, and for a hundred years the turtles were considered extinct. However, in the mid-90s of the last century, reports of the discovery of these turtles began to appear occasionally again. And now that scientists have discovered living individuals, there is hope that the find may indicate a revival of the population of this rare species. Munt Jack Deer On October 14, 2008, the environmental organization reported that in the west of Sumatra in Indonesia, a deer of the Munt Jack species, discovered in 1914, was discovered, representatives of which were last seen in Sumatra in the 20s of the last century. A deer of an extinct species in Sumatra was discovered while patrolling Karinsi Seblet National Park. Now, after such an amazing discovery, Munt Jack deer are listed as a critically endangered species on the International Union for Conservation of Nature Red List. The Worcester trifinger is a rare bird that was thought to be extinct and was last seen more than a hundred years ago, until a recent absurd incident occurred in 2009. Television journalists were filming a documentary about traditional methods of catching birds in the northern part of Luzon, an island in the Philippine archipelago. Using video and photo cameras, 
The film crew working on the film managed to film that very rare bird, which was considered extinct, but at that time neither the members of the film crew nor the local aborigines who were engaged in catching birds knew about the rarity of this bird. After the hunt and filming were completed, the aborigines cooked the bird over a fire and ate a rare specimen of their native fauna. The television crews did not interfere with them, none of them appreciated the importance of the discovery until the photographs caught the eye of ornithologists. The first descriptions of the Worcester Three Fingers were made in 1902. The bird was named after Dean Worcester, an American zoologist who was active in the Philippines at the time. The Three Fingers family belongs to small-sized birds weighing about 3 kilograms, so there wasn't much to eat there. One can only hope that this was not the last bird of this species, or at least that it managed to lay eggs that were hatched by some cuckoo. In general, one can only hope for a miracle. Laotian Rock Rat On June 20, 2006, media reported that Florida State University professor David Redfield and Thai biologist Uthai Trisukon had taken the first photographs and video images of a small, furry animal thought to have gone extinct more than 11 million years ago. The photographs showed an animal that had previously only been found in rock fossils. The Laotian rock rat is so named because its only habitat is the limestone rocks of central Laos, and the rat because the shape of its head, long whiskers and small eyes make it very rat-like. Outwardly, they resemble squirrels, rats, guinea pigs and chinchillas at the same time. Scientists studied the structure of their skeleton and skull, as well as DNA samples, and came to the conclusion that these animals represent not only a new species, but also a new family of rodents that separated from their ancestors millions of years ago. The Florida cougar is the rarest subspecies of cougar and one of the most striking examples of animals whose existence was once in a critical state, and whose numbers were nevertheless restored with great difficulty. By the 1970s, the population of these feral cats had declined very sharply to just 20 individuals in the wild. The main reason for extinction is the loss of its habitat. The reason is that Florida's forests are disappearing several times faster than, say, the tropical forests of South America. This means that the Florida puma species does not have even a small chance of expanding its population in the wild. Therefore, people come to the rescue by creating reserves where pumas are strictly controlled. Thanks to conservation measures and control over population growth, by 2013, scientists were able to increase the number of Florida cougars to 160 individuals, but they are still on the verge of extinction and struggling to survive. Friends, write your comments, which of these amazing animals impressed you more than others? Well, that's all for today, thank you all for watching, if it was interesting, support the video with likes, thank you for subscribing, and take a look at what else we have prepared for you.